cut it out, the next step is to get some plastic. Now you can use Perspex or any sort of um, packaging plastic. Um, I've got a little bit of this um, Perspex. It's about one mil. So once you're happy with everything, um, the next thing to do would be just to glue the two sides onto the back. Now, with it being plastic, you will not be able to use super glue because it will dry white. I'm going to use a cocktail stick. I find it easier just to get on the, the ridges here. So I'm going to put a bit on the end of here. And hopefully not get it everywhere. So you should have your back with your two sides. Don't worry about it being flexible like this. We're going to add the base on and the front yet. So if you just set that aside just to dry and then we're going to concentrate on making the things that we want to put in the fish tank. So I found it easier with anything rather than trying to mix the colours, um, especially with fish you can get them all different colours, is just to use some white or some pale Fimo. Um, this one's just the basic soft white Fimo. Um, and then at least that way you can model what you want and you can paint them after the um, after the theme baked ball to make the fish, and up and down to make an oval. And then going to pinch. Try and bring it closer. Pinch the bottom end where the tail would be. I'm going to use. These are just like little silicon brushes. I got these off um, eBay. There was about £1.87 for six different ones. They're just like a silicon brush, which I find quite easy just to you know, put some shape in. So this one I'm going to make flat because I'm going to glue it at the back so it looks like it's it's swimming. So I'm going to move a little bit, make sort of a, a round shape. And then start by just cutting its tail. And I know they've got Quite round bodies, these ones. I'm just going to keep it round. Right, so I'm just going to leave it as a, just a couple of fish because, like I say, I haven't had a lot of practice making the fish. Well, none of this is the first day that I've attempted some. So we'll see how they come out once they've been painted. 
So I'll pop those to one side. So now we're going to make the um, the decor um, inside the fish tank. If you saw my grape tutorial, um, I used some old, you know, where the, the branches had, all the leaves had come off these stalks, and I thought this would be really good because it's, you know, it's not going to be touched, so it's not as though they're going to perish by people touching them all the time. With the grape tutorial, I did coat them all in, in super glue. But you're not going to need to do that. So I'm just going to put the scrap bit of clay and just make a hole of where I want that to go. So that's a slightly bit too tall, so I'm just going to put it down. And then we'll make some little grass reeds from when we um, did the grape tutorial. I've still got some of that left, which has got the iris iridescent mixed in, so it would just be a bit more clearer. So to make the grass, what I'm going to do is roll it into little sausages. And put more pressure on the end, so it sort of gives a little flick like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to cut it, depending on how long you want them. I'm going to pick some of these up and start. Bunching them together. Just twist the bottom slightly so when you do glue them into the fish tank you've got a, a little bit to glue it in with. And now I think I'm going to do some rocks. So for this, because I've already got some FIMO in this colour, if I hadn't, I would just make some out of white and then paint them afterwards, but just to save a bit of time. Um, this is just the basic. This is number 87, Torp, which is um, a nice sort of stony colour. So for this, I'm going to make maybe four or five so I can make some sort of arrangement in the fish tank when we're done. Okay so I found some tin foil and you just scrunch it up and then we'll just bring that closer to the camera. On your rock just make some texture. couple smaller ones And then I think last thing I'll probably go to make is like a rock, but it's got a little tunnel inside it. And then I'm going to get one of my little ball tools which again I got on online the double-ended ones I think you get five in a pack I think there was about two pounds something 
from eBay and they're really good for making little eyes and things and so I'm just going to go in the middle sort of squish it down and make a hole So once you're happy with everything, I'm going to pop them in the oven. Um, my oven, best on gas mark, one and a half to two, which I think is about 300 Fahrenheit. I'm not 100% not sure. But on your FIMO pack, it does tell you um, what, they, what they recommend. But with these being so small, I tend to only pop them in for sort of eight to ten minutes on gas mark two. So while we're waiting for our clay to bake, we're going to build the base to our fish tank. I've got some really thin um, balsa wood which I picked up yesterday from the craft shop. And if you haven't got any balsa wood, you could use you could lay a couple of stacks of cards together. Just double check that the base sits where it should. And then we're going to use the glue that we used earlier to glue the base on. So the next thing we're going to do is put in the gravel. Now you can use beads, um, you know the miniature beads that you can get um, for jewellery making, um, you can use craft sand, anything really. Um, I did find these um, which were used for um, a wedding when I did some uh, flower arranging. So what I'm going to do is pour some in a bowl. looks a bit like cat litter. You probably use cat litter. Not too much because we don't don't want to fill the whole we're going to fill the whole bottom up depending, you know, we don't want it too high really, do we? So when you're happy with the amount that you want to put in, just leave it to one side to dry. So I'm going to start painting my fish. I'm going to start with this one with it just being a basic yellow colour. So I'm just using some normal basic acrylic paints. I got these from the shop called The Works in the UK. That's what it's called. I'm guessing you could get them online as well. I think there was about three ninety nine for them all, so not expensive, but um, they do work. So while we're waiting for the paints to dry on the fish, um, we're going to stick on our background. So I'm going to use the um, glue that I've been using throughout the whole tutorial. You can use, um, again, any glue that you've been using. I would just put four dots just on the corners. I think if you go around the whole thing and then put it on, what will happen is you'll be able to see it all through the glass. So 
So once you're happy with everything, I'm just going to pull some things out of the way and just drop some, um, just some tacky glue in the, the hole just to put my first flower. Maybe the fiddliest bit would be the fish. So hopefully they're dry by now. So with my little yellow tank, I'm going to glue him onto the back. So he actually looks like he's um, swimming. And then my two other little fish, I'm going to maybe put one Oops. Maybe there's like one in there somewhere So now what you can do is put the front on it, fill it with um, liquid fimer so it all looks like water. But I just thought that would really be a waste to use all your fimer to fill up your whole tank. So what I'm thinking is if we cut out a lid and just put the fimo, the gel fimo just on the lid. go down this front edge because I think once I think the three the three sides um would stick anyway and I think if you put it on the front if you squash it and you put too much glue on it's all going to run all down the, the front so I'm just going to do the just the three sides So this is liquid FIMO. I just bought this um, online. I think it was about six or seven pounds. Um, and I haven't used a lot of it because I haven't done, a, I've, the only thing I've used it for is the jelly sweets. So I'm still practicing with it. Um, but I think it's looked quite nice just to, so I'm just gonna squeeze some on the top. So you should have something that looks like this. So I hope this tutorial's been helpful. I've really, really had fun making these um, and the little things to go inside. So hopefully yours will turn out the same or probably even better than mine. Thanks for watching.